Jennifer, yourself and Joe Cocker had the, the beautiful duet in about 1983. That's, what, four years ago. That's a long time, and we haven't heard a lot from you in that four years. Did you take time out or what? No, I made a couple of records that haven't been released yet. Uh -huh. um, I started listening to African music and doing some experiments right. with, uh, with uh, a cappella versions with yeah. females. Yeah. And, uh, and then I made, produced my first digital record, and from that point I fell into Cypress Records and uh -huh. made and, this one. And now this, which is a beautiful album, by the way, and a great single. Can you tell me what the song actually means, First ah. Mistake <laughs> Manhattan? Uh, I'm trying to work this out. Is it something to do with fashion? Uh, I think so. Uh, it was written uh, when Leonard lived in Paris with a woman who's a fashion photographer. And I think they felt that they would uh, revolutionize the world and bring a new sense of aesthetics into art, music, fashion. Mm -hmm. And so he was writing it as an anthem for artists. And I, I think that she had something to do with that, too. Uh, Leonard Cohen, what sort of a guy is he? Because you've worked with him. I, in the past as well. I don't think as it's possible to say that quickly. You can't? <laughs> well, he's take he's your time. <laughs> 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 he's affected my life quite a bit because of his point of view and his, his just outlook on life yeah. and his work and just uh, the high quality of his work, the, how much of himself he's been able to bring to his work. What work had you done with him in the past prior to this album? A couple of tours to Europe, about three or four albums. But as a, a backup film. vocalist? Or? Yes. Right? Yes, pretty much a support per person. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, did, we did a little documentary film, and we've written together and made other people's music together. I mean, it's been an ongoing, for about 17 years, it's been an ongoing exchange. Great person to be friends with, I would think, eh? Most fascinating. Highlight of your life? Uh, my mother's pretty great, too. Ah, I'd forgotten about her. <laughs> and Dad. <laughs> now, when did you first decide that you might do an album, or, you know, purely with Leonard's music and one, of course, that you cover? Yeah. It was, a, it was something I carried with me for a long time, maybe 10 years. Mm -hmm. And when this uh, gentleman who started Cypress Records asked me what kind of records I wanted to make, I had about three or four that I had that sort of been gestating uh -huh. and I told him about this and he seemed to think that if you make a record a digital record of old folk music in a high poetic style with a popular singer that it would be a great start off record for his label uh -huh. so he said yeah I want that record and no one had ever said I want that record That's before so, yeah. so well, I said yes of course that'd be great <laughs> 